Up next, we have factor number two of the exposure triangle, and that is ISO. ISO actually stands for International Organization of Standardization. That's the company who made the numerical value. The best part about that is you're gonna, never gonna need that piece of information in your life. Good? All right. ISO is basically how sensitive your camera sensor is to light. Now, unlike aperture, ISO, the higher the number gets, the brighter your image gets. It's confusing, I know. I don't know why they do it to us, but they do. For example, ISO 100 will be a lot darker than if we were to go to ISO 100, 2400. Never go to 100, 2400. The reason it does this is ISO 100, the sensor is not sensitive at all. While at 100, 2400, the sensor is very sensitive to light. The smallest amount of light is going to make the image expose. Now, just like aperture, there is another factor that comes into play with ISO. The higher your ISO gets and the more sensitive your sensor is, the more noise and grain you're going to pick up in your image. ISO 100 is going to have a very smooth image with not much noise, and then the higher you go, the more grainy color noise you'll have. But modern technology helps us out with that. Many mirrorless cameras have native ISOs and dual native ISOs. This is basically the best sensitivity that your camera can handle. Like Sony, they have ISO 800, which handles the sensitivity and the noise and the grain best, as well as 3200, so that you have your option to shoot in low light situations without making it look super disgusting. So we've covered the pupil to your lens, we've covered the sensitivity of your sensor, and that's much. Next, we have shutter angle. I'll see you there.